What's up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. Trying to make as many of these as I can, just keep you guys updated. And today is the perfect opportunity for vlog number two. I just got a ring notification that a package arrived and it's a package that I've been waiting for for so long now, it feels like forever. I feel like I ordered it before I even started on the RCF. 11 months ago, I ordered the Varus Magnum hood for the, uh, for the RCF and I ordered it from Vivid Racing. They told me it would take about uh, three months then they kept delaying it over and over again lying to me about the shipping which is what really pissed me off i understand a lot of people got delays going on right now but it just really frustrated me that they kept giving me another date after another after another instead of just being like straightforward that this is when you can expect it to arrive so long story short i just seen it it finally arrived they called me last week on like thursday to set up the appointment so i knew it was going to be coming today but it finally arrived i'm heading home right now to go unbox it see how it is I might not unpackage it all the way, even though I really want to see how it looks. Um, I'm not going to unpackage it all the way because I'm selling it for the same price I bought it for, a little bit extra for the shipping. But I'm working with a company overseas um, for a custom hood. He's doing the exact same hood. He's going to make a replica. I've seen his work before. Um, he actually posted in the RCF Facebook group one week after I ordered this that he was going to do a group buy discount price, and I missed out on that. Um, but he's making the same exact hood. Instead of carbon fiber, he's making it for me in forged carbon for the first time he's ever done it. Uh, forged carbon, and he's adding the candy blue paint underneath it, like I'm, what I'm doing to all my uh, trim for the uh, hydro dip. So he's going to make an actual real forged carbon hood with the candy paint instead of it being hydro dip like everything else. So that's going to be the one real forged carbon part on my entire car that I have. Uh, slowly, me and him are going to be working together, maybe doing the, uh, the wing, maybe doing the diffuser, some side skirts, whatever. He can make anything I want. I just have to send him out the parts so he can make a mold and then he'll send it right back to me. Got the box cutter. Gotta be careful how I'm gonna open this one because I'm about to ship it straight back out. So let me get this open and show you guys what it actually looks like. Moment we've all been waiting for, boys. I really hope that nothing is damaged. I've seen some dents on the sides of the boxes, but I'm hoping it's in good condition. Woo! Look at her. Just look at that. I mean, you can't really see anything, but... I can tell it's in good condition, which makes me happy. That's it. I had to go ahead and open it, boys. I had to get at least a small little look at it. There's no way I can wait this long and not take a single look at it. But this thing looks incredible. I can't believe how amazing it's going to look on the car. I'm surprised they actually clear-coated it. I mean, after 11 months, they better have. But most carbon fiber parts, you got to clear-coat it yourself. But this thing looks amazing. That hood would have looked incredible on the car, but... I'm kind of glad we're going with Forge Carbon, so I feel like it's going to match a lot better. It's going to be something that's going to stand out. Haven't really seen it too much. I know Forge Carbon's getting kind of played out with the whole wrap and everything, but I've seen those wraps and I almost use those wraps. They don't look anything like actual Forge Carbon, so I'm glad that the hood, the main biggest piece that I have, is actually going to be real, genuine Forge Carbon. It kind of makes me think that later on I might really do the, uh, the rear wing and the diffuser, just because they're also huge major parts of the car and they're gonna be a forged carbon uh, hydro dip right now. But eventually over on later time when I'm done with the Datsun and I have more money stacked up to spend on the RCF again, uh, I might actually send those out and get those uh, molded and, and make a forged carbon replica of those. And it'll be the first ones out there. Nobody has ever done it before. Thanks for watching guys. I know we've been waiting for this one part for so long, but it finally got here and the car is so close to being complete. Stay tuned for the next video.